In this trig survival guide, we're going to verify a trig identity. So we're going to look at 1 over sine cosine minus tangent equals cotangent. And of course, you use multiple strategies when verifying a trig identity. This identity in particular, we're going to be highlighting the strategy of getting a common denominator. So let's dive in and see how this works. Before starting to verify any trig identity, there are a couple things you need to do. First, we need to decide which side we will be manipulating. And so usually it's best to choose the more complex side. Um, and we do that simply because there's a little bit more to manipulate and usually it's easier to simplify than it is to try to create. So we'll choose the left side in this case. We're trying to manipulate it until we get it to be exactly like the right side, cotangent x. Another thing we need to do is strategize. So looking at this, we see it may be helpful to rewrite tangent in terms of sine and cosine using that quotient identity. So let's get started now that we have decided which side to work on and we've strategized. Draw a vertical bar here so you aren't tempted to work on the right side at all. And we'll rewrite our first term over here. So we have one sine x cosine x. Those are already in terms of sine and cosine. And we're going to rewrite tangent as sine over cosine. So here's where that strategy of using a common denominator is going to come in handy. We see we have two terms that are fractions and the second term sine over cosine is almost got a common denominator, but we need to get it to have a sign in the denominator as well. So we're going to multiply, and I'll show this in a different color, the second term by sine over sine, which is like multiplying by one. We aren't changing the integrity of that term, but we are manipulating it so that we can combine it with the other. So of course, now in the numerator, these two signs being multiplied turn into sine squared and we've got our common denominator of sine cosine. So let's say that's equal to, instead of rewriting cotangent, I'm gonna write RS for right side. And now we can move on to combining these terms. We have one minus sine squared in the numerator all over the common denominator of sine cosine. That equals the right side. Now we want to step back and evaluate. How are we going to get from this single term to cotangent? Notice in the numerator, we have something that should remind you of a Pythagorean identity, this one minus sine squared. Remember our base Pythagorean identity is cosine squared plus sine squared equals one. And if you rearrange that identity, and we can do that rearrangement because we've already proved the identity, um, we have cosine squared, just subtract sine squared from both sides, and you have one minus sine squared. So that is a huge benefit to us because we can replace the one minus sine squared that we have in our term, in our verification problem, with the single term, cosine squared. So let's go ahead and make that replacement or that substitution and see how it affects our problem. So we'll rewrite cosine squared over sine cosine. And of course that equals our right side. We're trying to get it to be cotangent. It's always good after each step, pause and assess. Are you getting closer to your goal? I'd argue that we are. We should see that we can now simplify. We can cancel out a common factor of cosine x so remember there are two cosine x's, it's cosine times cosine in the numerator to get that cosine squared. So one of those can cancel with our cosine x in the denominator. So in the numerator, we're left with a single cosine x. So if you'd like a clean step, you can rewrite. We have cosine over sine equals our right side. And that's great. We are basically there because we know a quotient identity Cosine over sine is cotangent. And so we have proved this trig identity. The left side equals the right side. I'll post a link to more worked examples of verifying trig identities in the video description. So be sure to check those out. And remember, practicing is the very best way to become a master of verifying trig identities. So just keep it up. Every problem you work gets to make the next one even easier. Thanks for watching and good luck.